Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to flatten the house. We'll just do the house, the bottom part, uh, first uh, because the roof's a bit more complex. First of all, um, we don't want to uh, ruin any work we've done. Obviously we should have been making saves along the way, but uh, in this case we're going to um, select uh, the house didn't quite get all of that, there we go, and I'm going to zoom out and as you move it, make sure you hit control to make a copy. So I've got a second one, and that way I can start getting the parts I need. So that's one important part. Um, for our model, we can probably delete these components and refer to the um, original drawing over here. Um, this here is going to need exploding. We have to select different faces. Um, and to do that, it's probably easiest if we um, if we get rid of this bottom piece first. We'll need that as well. Um, it's pretty handy to have that bottom piece for joining your, your, your walls onto. At least if you had it cut on a bit of paper so it shows you exactly where the wall should sit. Um, I'm going to move it off and make a control copy of it. And when you're trying to um, group this piece here, you've got to select the line as well. It won't let you group just one piece. So if you select the surface and a line, you can group that up. So we've got that, that, I can delete that now. And what I'm going to do is take a nice top view, and we can start selecting components like that. So make that into a group, move it off, going pretty good so far so we can separate all those different components at the moment the double click seems to be working nicely for um, selecting most of these components and it's actually uh, selecting the doors and, and uh, windows as well so I'm going to go along with that but um, if that's not working for you, try that other option of coming in from the top. Um, shift, so you can select multiple things, group, double click, make a group. Last one, all right. So all your components are separate, and you can grab that little um, cube in again. It's pretty handy uh, at this stage because we're going to use the um, the rotate tool. But what we're going to do is spacebar and click to select an object, and we're going to start. Um, Q is a shortcut for rotate, by the way, and we're going to hold that. At on the angle that we want to flatten these components. So I'm just going to hold that um, the shift key, go to the bottom corner, click, drag it up, drag it down, type in 90, hit enter, 
and move it around a bit so it's nice and flat. So this piece here, we should be able to grab from this right here. So I'm going to grab shift, up to 3, 90, and that is flat too. So it's just a matter of going through like that. And again, Q, you've got to get the right surface. A few um, ones over here. Just moving them around. Um, when you uh, go to assemble this, it's probably not a bad idea to um, be careful of how um, not moving them too far away from where they originally were, because you can um, sort of get lost in in uh, which part went where. And um, just make sure you all rotate them all downwards so the image um, faces up. So when you go to print it, you don't you don't have to um, print both the top and the bottom of those pieces. Um, I've had a few students like have the white side up and some of the white side up and some of the bricks up. So um, I'm not going to show you the whole lot, but that's how we go about lining these pieces flat. So once they're flat, what you do is you try to um, put them together. Now if you've got different layers like this when you're trying to line them up and um, there's a few different ways you can do it one is you can grab a corner and pull it to another corner and that will um, lie it flat and when you're moving it around just move it on those axes so green and then red and um, if you go for those black axes it could be um, going in any direction um, and then grab all your little components and chuck them in pretty close together um, okay, next video I'm going to show you how to flatten all the roof components.